It was our first festival. Well, not Leeds, Reading was, but when we were... I mean, it was about 16, 17? We hadn't left school yet. Yeah. But, um, our friends, Bombay, were opening the Friday on like the smaller stage, one of their first ever like big festival shows. So all our friends like came down and we were there from like Wednesday to I guess Monday. Monday. And yeah, it was really cool. I mean there's a few people we see quite a lot. It's, it's always sort of nice. Because like it can go like a whole year where we're off on different tours on our own thing. And, like last year we'd see them and then it happened to be there in the same stage this year or something. Or, yeah, I'm trying to think so. who we've like who we see around. See a lot of like backstage people. There's a very interesting chap who looks after who looked after our tent today. Uh, he's got an accent. Is he American or Canadian? I, he could be even Jamaican. He's got yeah, like a maybe very... Yeah, Jamaican. Uh, it's like quite sort of hard to play. He's so. quite fruity. Yeah. Quite mellow. Anyway, cool guy. And he was at last studio was here. Wait, so, he, sometimes he wears a bicycle, like a motorbike helmet as well. That really? should be noted. And a cape. Yeah. He wears a cape. Yeah, he dresses up for the occasion. I think, especially with people like that, you realise, like, I guess he's like 40 or something. He must have seen so many different eras of music. Like, he was doing this in the 90s. It's Brit pop, and then it's like, I don't know. Anyway, we're just a, a speck on his timeline. Well, I always thought 90s would be great, and then we went to play at the Sea in the Park, which was sort of like a festival in the 90s, and it was just really scary. So I'm not sure about that era. I think that would have been fun for, like, as a punter, just sort of off your head, kind of lying down in the sun, getting sunstroke. I don't know about, like, casually walking through sober. Well, I guess the 70s or the 80s.